Welcome back to Benox Garage. In this video, I will show you how to diagnose a misfire and how to tell if it's a spark plug or a coil pack that is bad. Stay tuned. Today we are working on a 2010 VW Passat. Customer states car is not running right. Please fix. I get in and you can see when the engine light flashes that you have an active misfire going on. So when I pulled up the code, you can see cylinder number three is actively misfiring. So how do we see if it's a spark plug issue or a coil pack issue? Any guesses? We're gonna take the coil pack from number two and swap it with number three. Then we're gonna, oh, we got misfire number one too. And if, well, now that we have multiple misfires, come on, zoom in. Now that we have multiple misfires, I'm gonna pull out and check compression and check the plugs. We might have other issues going on here, but Cylinder three is our main issue. So let's f figure out what's going on. The first things I see is I see an active uh, valve cover leak. Everything is pretty grimy in there. But we're gonna take cylinder three uh, coil pack and switch it to cylinder two since cylinder two had no misfires and see if the misfire jumps to cylinder two. If the misfire jumps to cylinder two, then we know it's a coil pack. But if it stays on number three, then we know it's a spark plug issue. It's just a quick way to tell. Let me pull them two out and see what's going on there. Right, so all we did was switch this one with that one. They pull straight up. Yep. And these, you can push the little clip back and go straight back. So now we're gonna get back in and see if the code scanner now reads an issue with number two or number three. <laughs> <laughs> And now jump to number two. We have a bad coil pack. Okay. We also have a new TDC that came up. Misfire, 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 hide cylinder. Hmm, that's a new one. Misfire, misfire, misfire. Hide cylinder. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna pull one of these plugs out anyways and take a look at it. See if it needs it. If it does, we'll go ahead and replace it. The PO130 is an EGR code. You get a piece of hose. A piece of hose will go over the top of that. You don't have to use, or just take this. Oh yeah. oh yeah, they need it. No doubt about it. Um. Okay. So we'll, we'll put blue tint, purple tint to it. Yeah, it or got it's hot. hot. Yeah, it's been real hot. They don't look that old. They're factory VW plugs. Yep. Holy NGKs. Um, they look horrible. So we're gonna put plugs and one coil in it and see if that solves all of the issues or if it's just a uh, preliminary while we are here 
and we have all four spark plugs out. Just for peace of mind, I'm gonna do a compression test to make sure that everything is between, I like to see 180, but I don't wanna see anything lower than 120. But they all should be within 10% of each other. So if one's 120, they all need to be within uh, 12 range, so no more, no less than 110, no more than 132. But I like to see them no lower than 150. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and film this. Go ahead and crank. And just count to five, like five cranks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Right about right about to hit 150 when it cut off, so. Alright. Sounds like the battery dead. I have to go put a jump pack on it. 150, anyways. I'm gonna go grab a jump pack. Yeah. This should be in there by the sink. In the uh, yeah, no, in in the yeah in the house. The charging station. We had to put a little jump pack on it to keep going here. Yes, sir. We're good. They're all within perfect spec, so we get this last one. All right. Yep, we're good. Did it just eat my battery pack? No, we still got 30. Oh, we lost connectivity. That's why. All good.